Okay guys, welcome to module one. In this module, our expert will be teaching you about creating a JV or affiliate page, which will be the foundation of your recruiting efforts. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. All right guys, so for this lesson, I figured the best way to break down what needs to go into your JV page is to dissect a couple of existing ones. So we'll be looking at a JV page for a very popular product launch in the internet marketing niche called Niche Marketing Kit. This is a hard launch, meaning it has a specific date associated with it, but it's also a recurring one, meaning they relaunch it every year. Then we're going to look at evergreen launches, or excuse me, evergreen JV pages by a company called Promote Labs, who has a whole lot of software solutions also in the digital marketing and online business niche. So first things first, you need to trait your JV page like a sales page and the customers in this case or the equivalent of customers are the affiliates you need to be selling your JVs or affiliates on this launch you want them to promote you want them to send traffic from their email lists or their blogs or their audiences to your sales page you've got to sell them on it you've got to treat your launch as though it's a product that you're selling to them what do I mean by that the copy it's just like a sales page. You need a headline that catches their attention and tells them why they should promote your product. You should ideally have a video. All right, I'm not going to play this video, but it's kind of a funny, attention getting, goofy video inviting people and uh, reminding them what all the benefits are of joining this launch. And I want to mention something because there's a lot of instances on this page and other pages of affiliate and JV being used interchangeably. And I want to clarify something. Traditionally, if you're being really orthodox, the phrase JV or joint venture partner means somebody who goes in on a launch with you, on a product and the sales process with you, and actually gets a percentage of the profits after marketing and affiliate costs and advertising costs. So technically, that would be an actual partner in your business, sort of co-launching or co-creating or co-selling a product alongside you, and not one of the affiliates. However, because there's a little bit of nuance and similarity there, it just became popular many years ago to start referring to affiliates as JVs because they are doing marketing for you and they're getting a percentage of the sale. It's not really correct if you really want to be legalistic about it. It's not the best uh, two phrases to be using interchangeably because the phrase joint venture partner still also retains its correct original meaning. But just be aware that in most cases, especially in internet marketing, JV and affiliate are used interchangeably and when somebody says JV, they're referring to sales affiliates. So now that that's out of the way, we can continue down the line here. First off, after the video, we see the date. This is very important to get the date out there and clear to the affiliates because you want them to do what? You want them to clear their calendar. You want them to go literally into their little Google calendar and put a little mark there, annotate that in this case, John and Dave are having a launch this week, and I want to promote it. Okay? If it's not in their calendar, the thing about a lot of affiliates, if you're dealing with affiliates, especially in the internet marketing niche, is they're lazy. All right? That's a known thing. They're lazy. That's why they're internet marketers, because they don't want to do work. Now, I say that a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but it's true. It's very hard to make sure that affiliates are galvanized and reminded about your launch. So you've got to make sure that they actually commit to it and put it on their calendar. And the best way to do that is to put the date front and center and emphasize it in the actual video itself. Now, another thing here is proof. Now, since this is a recurring launch, this is going to be presented in a way that usually you cannot do. They have launched before. And it did rather well, as you can see. And so they are able to use screenshots like this to show, hey, the launch is proven. This launch in its next iteration will do well again. And that's very powerful. So if you're relaunching a product that you've already launched in the past, let's say you've updated it a little bit and you're relaunching it, or if you're launching the next in a series of products that are all related, part of sort of a franchise, Using past data can be a good way to get affiliates on board and assure them that they're going to have success if they choose to send traffic to your offer. Because you got to keep in mind, for affiliates, it's an opportunity cost. If your offer doesn't perform very well, 
Well, that means for that two or three or five day period that they were promoting it, they could have been promoting someone else the entire time and making more money. It's an opportunity cost and it's a risk every time they choose to promote your launch instead of someone else's. So you really want to make them feel comfortable about taking that leap and doing yours. Now the next big thing here is the big fat affiliate link button. You click this, it'll take you to JVZoo and you'll be able to request an affiliate link for this offer. This has got to be the front and center item, okay? You'll notice they also have another button down here because they want affiliates added to an email list so that they can recruit those affiliates more easily in the future and bring them back to more product launches. But it's less important than getting them to click and get that affiliate link. Because once an affiliate clicks and requests an affiliate link, it's sort of locked in their head. They're much less likely to forget about your launch or to put it on the back burner. So the next area here is a diagram of the funnel. You want to make sure affiliates can clearly see what they're making money on, how much, what the commission is, and what the earning potential is on the entire funnel. Because they're going to add this up and they're going to say, hey, for every single person I send through, I could potentially make, if they were to buy everything, I could potentially make X amount of dollars. Okay, and that earning potential is huge. In this case, it's $285 uh, up to $285 per sale in commission. All right, so... The diagram is very important and preferably a breakout like they've got here where they actually have some copy explaining um, all the different steps and what the offers are on those different steps. Okay, because affiliates want to know what those OTO offers are. They want to know. They, they don't just want to know that there is, is a product that they'll make 27 bucks on. They're excited about that, but they also want to know what that product is. They want to be able to come down here and say, oh, okay, it's 50 Premier Websites special offer. That's what it is. Does that kind of make sense? So moving right along... The next area is sort of the toot your horn section. If you have promoted products in the past and you did well and you're on leaderboards, then you want one of these sections. This tells them that if they scratch your back, they can come and ask you to scratch theirs and you'll actually do quite well in doing so. You can promote their products and make a lot of sales. Now, you might not have this, but if you have a record of sales, total gross sales over the course of X amount of time, you can provide that data as well. And worst case scenario, you know, if, if you're starting out from scratch, you might just have to start with nothing. Okay. And in place of this, you can put a commitment, an offer to say, hey, I will place your offers in my autoresponder so that my new buyers who get added to my list will within X amount of days be promoted to your offer. Okay. That could stand in this section here and have a similar effect. But as soon as you do start appearing on some leaderboards, make sure you take some screenshots and get those on your uh, promotional pages or on your JV and affiliate pages. Excuse me. Now, next we've got promotional tools. These are a must have. Because affiliates are lazy, which we already discussed, they don't want to have to sit there writing email copy for day after day after day for each day of your launch. Many of them will. Many of them who take their job very seriously will do that from scratch. They'll read your sales material. They'll check out your product and try it out themselves and write their own stuff from scratch. Many only want your swipes and will only use the swipes and maybe just change one or two things in it. But most people are in the middle, okay, between those two extremes. Most people are going to use your swipes at least for inspiration or they'll actually take them and just heavily edit them to make them sort of match their own writing style because when they write to their email list, their list recognizes who's writing because they have a certain writing style. Now, the other thing is banners. A lot of people do like using banners in their members areas. Um, they post these to social media. They can stick them in blog sidebars or in the header of their blog. And some people even run advertising campaigns, pay-per-click advertising campaigns with these banners. So if you can create and provide banners for your affiliates, that's a huge plus. Lots of variations there that people can use. And then you've got the contest. The contest is super important for getting those big name JVs and big name affiliates on because many of them only promote things based on the contests because they know that they can take that first or second spot. And if they can take first or second place, they want to know how much money they'll make just for getting first and second place, regardless of the commission that they earn. There are affiliates like that out there towards the top of the ladder. Okay, so if you have a contest with uh, big prizes, 
big cash prizes. Make sure you're advertising that here. And then finally, down here at the bottom, you've got the prize leaderboard. This, um, because this hasn't launched yet, this is an upcoming date, there is not a live leaderboard feed here, but a lot of JV pages don't even have this. Okay, a lot of JV pages expect people just to go to JVZoo or Pay Kickstart or whatever the affiliate marketplace is and see the leaderboard being updated there. But some people do have special software or plugins that will auto-update a feed of the leaderboard here. And uh, that way affiliates can keep coming back to your JV page to see where they rank on the leaderboard. It's not super common these days, but that does exist. And then finally, finally, at the very bottom, we've got the signature and contact information. Get in touch with us if you need anything at all. That's huge. Affiliates want to know that you're going to be available when they need things. There's nothing more annoying than being an affiliate for someone who's, for, who's launching a product and you need something. You need swipes or you, you have a question about the OTO or you have a customer who's having trouble accessing, and the vendor who you are promoting for uh, is not able to get back to you or is dismissive. Okay, so you want to make sure that your JVs slash affiliates know that you're going to be there for them and uh, that you will be able to help them out with anything that they need. So this, once again, was for an actual launch with a hard date. Now let's have a look at affiliate pages for products that are evergreen, meaning they're just in a normal mode of constant selling. Okay, there isn't a specific date or a contest or anything like that. Most of these began at one point as a launch. Okay, most products are launched with a hard launch date in the manner that we just saw, and then afterwards they go into evergreen status. Promote Labs here has a bunch of software solutions that are in evergreen mode and have been around for years. Let's have a look at Post Gopher. We'll just look at one of these. And you'll notice it's a much shorter affiliate page, affiliate recruiting page. Why? because there's no hard date, so there's no contest. There's no launch contest, because it's not a launch, right? And you could put a reciprocation section on your evergreen affiliate recruiting page if you wanted to. The thing is, there's two reasons why um, we're not seeing one here. Number one, this is unique to Promote Labs, and that is that they are Promote Labs. So everyone in the industry already knows uh, that these guys can do damage on leaderboards. They don't have to have a uh, do we reciprocate section. It's not necessary for Promote Labs because of their name recognition and who they are. Okay, they don't have to sell that aspect. The other aspect, though, is evergreen. Do you really want to commit to people on an ongoing, constant basis, just in the background, um, to scratching their back if they scratch yours, if this is just in an evergreen mode and you've got you know, potentially hundreds of people coming to this page and sticking your uh, product into their email autoresponders. Do you want them knocking on your door saying, hey, on your page you said you reciprocate and I promoted your product for a couple of days, you know, last month. You know, will you promote my launch? You owe me. So for Evergreen, it makes a little bit less sense to have one of those reciprocation sections. But let's have a look at what we do have for this Evergreen page. First off, there is the little header or banner up here. This actually clicks through to the sales page in this case, so affiliates can see the sales page. But the big thing here, of course, is the affiliate link. And in this case, they're using Pay Kickstart, which is another excellent uh, marketplace and affiliate marketing platform. And then we've got a description of the earning potential of the funnel. Okay, $85 per sale potentially with across the board 50% commissions, and then we have an explanation of what the product is. Okay. Then we've got a live view of the sales page that they can click on here. And affiliates can use that to write their own copy if they want to, or just get a feel for what it is that they're writing. And we've got an actual diagram of the funnel right here. Then we've got these copy and paste email swipes. This is pretty fancy. It's one of the accordion style, you know, expanding lists. Email 2, send on day 2. Email 6, send on day 6. So here they're actually prepping them and encouraging them to set up a full 7-day long automated campaign. And they're giving them each email that they need for each day of that campaign. Not everybody's going to come and do that, but you might as well plan for it and uh, do what you can to accommodate that. Banner ads. 
as you can see, based on the shape here, they're really going for not just people maybe sticking this in the bottom of an email and in their blog post. They've made these so that they're perfect variations of size and shape to be used for PPC. Okay, You'll see this one says, actually, terrific for Twitter. Blog sidebar. Perfect for Pinterest, tall. Facebook carousels. Instagram style photo. ready-made bonus page. This one's pretty cool. They have their own software, in this case, where you can actually grab their Commission Gorilla software and then upload their done-for-you bonus to it, and you've got a URL that you can send your traffic to where you're offering a bunch of bonuses that you didn't have to create to people if they buy this product through your link. Now, that's Promote Labs, and they happen to have that right there. You don't need that. You can still provide bonuses, and you can provide like a WordPress template and say, hey, here's an easy done-for-you bonus to offer your subscribers if they buy through your link. And that's a great way to galvanize and encourage people to promote for you if you're giving them something that they can use as an incentive to their list. And finally, affiliate terms and conditions, saying what not to do. Basically, don't be a jerk, don't spam people and keep the uh, the stupid spammy cliche stuff out of your subject line. Uh, don't do the P PC thing or the SEO campaign thing where you use the word scam next to the product name, which is popular among affiliates. They think it's sort of a reverse psychology thing, and it might be, but for the 90% of people who don't click and just see that ad, they associate the word scam with your brand. So you got to keep in mind, affiliates, when they're out there promoting your stuff, they're also reflecting and representing your brand and they can do a lot of damage to your brand if you don't make it clear what the rules are. So this is an important section and you don't usually see it as visible, this section here. I recommend you take Promote Labs example and make sure that your affiliates know what you do and do not want them doing in their marketing. So that's it guys. We've got two different types of affiliate recruiting pages. We've got one for a launch with a hard date, which is this one. As you can see, it's all about getting the hype and the galvanization and all that good stuff up for a specific date. And then we've got the slightly more laid-back evergreen style, just getting people on an evergreen basis, no big rush, to add your product to their promotions throughout the year, either in their autoresponders or um, in their day-to-day -day newsletters. So depending on whether you're doing a launch or if you have an evergreen product, you need to be modeling your JV pages in the same exact way. And you need to keep in mind that principle that we talked about at the beginning, which is that you need to sell to your affiliates. You're selling them on the idea that it will be beneficial to them to promote your product. You've got to treat it just like a sales page. All right, so now that we've done this, next we're going to go and see where we can actually post your launch to get some eyeballs on it and get people coming to your affiliate recruiting page.